Hi guys. I'm Nolan Peters. I'm from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Now I have named this little ditty, my best friend. Dear BWV, from my earliest memories, my family had you. The big white van with the squeaky brakes, and sometimes I thought you would fall apart when we drove you in the interstate. You were there when I was born, you were there before I was born, and you were there for every Christmas when we had to speed to church because your heater didn't work. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Noses glowed like Rudolph, and your brakes would not stop screaming. You've been through a lot. We broke you many times. We fixed you even more times. One time, some kid named Donald Perdue ran into you at a full sprint. <laughs> even though you died many, many, many times, you never seemed to live any different. But that's okay. Never once did you fight back at our fixes that were actually just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of duct tape. <laughs> Never once did you cry out, especially when we ran you into a snowbank. Your name was only an acronym, but that just spoke stories about what you truly were. Big. Indeed, when I say big, you were the biggest. I had never seen a van bigger than you, and I had never wanted a van bigger than you. White. True, you had once been white but your paint eventually thinned into a dirty beige that kind of looked like bird poop. But it just spoke stories about what you truly did. Van. The van to end all vans. The chosen van. <laughs> Most of all, you were a mother of all vans. But you weren't just a mother of all vans. You were a mother to all of us. My parents, when you carried us kids, us kids, when we fell asleep on your ginormous seats, and me, the times we shared together, Times like when I dropped my homework under your seat in the fourth grade and bawled until Mrs. Bates said it was okay. Times like when you broke down on the way home from Des Moines and it was 105 out and we had to sit in the shade while my dad resurrected you. Times like the two straight years where you would not start unless we sprayed your engine with starter fluid and shook things around. But that's okay. It's okay even though you're gone. And it's okay, even though I don't know where to send this letter to because you've been gone for so long. For all the things that you've done for me, that you've done for us, I want to say thank you. Thank you for not breaking down all the time. Thank you for harboring us against the harsh winds. Thank you for carrying us from place to place, even if you could have broken down at any time. Big White Van, I love you. Sincerely, me.